Hey guys, what's going on? It's Marcus from Learning with Marcus, and in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys the languages I want to learn in 2016. Now, this is a part two of the previous video I did, and if you haven't seen that video, click up there. Okay, so for this video, I wanted to tell you some of the languages that I think I'm going to learn in 2016. Now, I should preface this by saying that I change the languages that I want to learn quite frequently, so I don't know if I'm going to continue with this list. I probably will, but I will probably add more languages as the year progresses and I see how long it takes me to learn certain languages. So I'm going to go over my list right now. Okay, now these are just a few of the languages that I want to learn and I know I'll probably think of more and start learning more as the year progresses, like I said. So one of the first languages I want to learn is Bengali. I think Bengali is really cool and it kind of sounds similar to Hindi. I know the script is somewhat similar but not exactly similar so I wanted to learn that language because it's really cool and I want to learn a little bit more of Indian languages. I'm pretty sure that Bengali is an Indian language. I just want to learn that language because it looks pretty cool. Also, I want to learn Hebrew because I had started to learn Hebrew before last summer, in the summer of 2014, and I really liked the language, but as time progressed, I kind of just stopped learning it. So I, in 2016, I want to review everything that I have learned and continue to learn the language. And I want to have the ambitious goal of even getting fluent in that language or conversational. Another language I want to learn is Greek. And with same with Hebrew last summer, summer of 2014, I was learning Greek. And I really like the language and the alphabet is actually similar to Russian and they think it's a cool language. So I would definitely want to try to learn that language and also try to get into fluency as well. We'll see how it goes and I'll post the video at the end of next year to see where I'm at with relation to these goals. Another language that I finally want to conquer is Korean. I've had so many tries of, with this language and I've failed each time. I don't know what it is, but I've just not been able to learn it continuously ever. So I really, really, really want to stick with this language. And as a same with Hebrew and Greek, I want to try to get fluent in this language. So we'll see about that. And also I'll be posting updates about this and see how it goes. Another language I want to learn that doesn't follow the pattern of the languages I've been learning is Romanian because there are only two or three languages that I have been learning from Europe, which is German and French, with the exclusion of Hebrew and Greek that I just mentioned. So I want to learn Romanian because it sounds pretty cool, it looks pretty easy, and I don't have much experience with this culture, and I want to learn something completely new, and I think it will be interesting. Another language I want to learn is Swahili. I learned Swahili um, a year or two ago, and I really liked it, but for some reason I stopped learning it. But now I want to get back into Swahili because I don't know any African languages. I do know Arabic, but I don't know the African dialects of Arabic. So I would like to learn another Ar African language. And after I'm finished learning Swahili, or as I'm learning Swahili, I want to learn other languages more specific to Africa. Because I know that there are hundreds and hundreds of languages in Africa alone, so I want to pick up a few of them. And another language I would like to learn is Ukrainian because I already know Russian and Ukrainian is pretty similar to Russian with the writing style and even some of the words. And also I have some Ukrainian friends and they do speak Russian and I think Russian is their first language but they do speak Ukrainian too. So I would like to be able to speak in, with, I would like to speak Ukrainian with them as well. Okay, that's it for this list. And some of the other goals that I have that aren't new languages, I want to get fluent in Arabic and French and, and German and Indonesian and a bunch of other languages. So I have really ambitious goals for 2016 and we'll see how they pan out. Also, maybe sometime next week I'm going to be posting a 2015 language recap because I haven't done my monthly recap for December and I don't think I will. I think I'm just going to post a 
general 2015 recap, which I probably will be posting in January. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. If you like my videos, hit the thumbs up button. And if you want to keep up with my videos, hit the subscribe button. And if you really want to keep up with my videos, hit the notification button so that you can be notified whenever I post a new video. Also, go over to my Instagram at learningwithmarcus to follow my language studies off YouTube. And also go over to Twitter at language underscore addict to follow some more of my language learning. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I'm Marcus from Learning with Marcus. See you guys in the next video.